stay here. <laughs> I wanted to continue this conversation about what life is like in Gaza with a question that I, sadly, I know is on everybody's minds. Mm -hmm. It is about uh, being a woman on the street in Gaza. Uh, in lots of places, maybe more so in the U.S., I'm not sure, there's an image that people have that um, a woman in Gaza has to dress, you know, in black from head to toe and shouldn't go out. And if she does go out, she's going to walk 10 steps behind her husband, carrying all the bags for him or, or whatever. You know, these images that um, folks in the West have gotten from the media um, or, from, or from rumors, really. I'd love to hear your you know, what you'd like to tell us about what it's like just being out and about shopping, school, work, whatever, um, as a woman in Gaza. Okay, now that's definitely an interesting subject that I know people have this uh, perception in their head. It's uh, actually what I'm wearing like now, like exactly the way I look right now is exactly how I will go out now <laughs> in a bit. <laughs> so. Um, so no, um, it, it's true that the majority of women do um, wear a hijab covering the hair and now a growing um, numbers are uh, even covering the face. It is true, Gaza has become more and more conservative um, and I always uh, tell my friends outside it's not about Hamas coming to power in 2006-2007. In it's uh, it's a process. I mean, it's a long-term uh, um, uh, history of of how uh, religion and being conservative has really uh, uh, become stronger in, in a place like Gaza. Gaza is very closed. That's really the the number one factor that people need to consider when when really looking at how how women and and men are becoming more and more conservative. It is ex extremely close. People cannot leave Gaza since 1990, for example. I remember the creation of, of Ares was like 1992, 93. Uh, you people stopped being allowed of, of, of leaving Gaza freely. So back to the walking in the street. Now, if I walk in the street right this minute, really nobody will tell me anything. I may get little comment here and there from little kids. You know, little kids are everywhere, are annoying sometimes when when they see <laughs> when they see like strange or like odd um, odd look and it, it's not very common. There are uh, maybe a few hundred uh, women who are still not covering. Uh, we never get, uh, I never got to any violent, uh, even uh, talk, yeah, not even, I mean, nobody would dare even to, to tell you anything. You would see sometimes discomfort, like comments of, of facial expression that they're not very happy to see you like this, because it, it has become less and less. Nobody will hurt you, uh, especially in, in the traditional areas. It's, uh, it's amazing that you would walk in the street, people would accept it, like in the old city in Gaza. Because, uh, you know, they are a little bit used to some tourism, you know, very, very, so, you know, very little, but they do. And there's also a very mi a small Christian minority, which also still is helping to keep this balance. Um, so, no, I, I would say, I mean, for like the foreigners who come and visit, they really don't have to wear hijab because they do bring with them hijab and special clothes and everything. Yes, the clothing has to be more conservative, definitely, but um, but not like what they think. No.